If your app displays large amounts of data, chances are you're using, or at least should be using, a UI table view or UI collection view. The goal of these UI components is to make your life easier when dealing with large amounts of data. But if you don't use them properly, you can end up with a far from perfect user experience. Let me share a couple of UI table view optimization tips that are also relevant for UI collection view. Your users will thank you for this. If you don't optimize your UI table view use, there will be a lag when the user is scrolling. That's obviously not the smooth user experience you want to provide. So what can you do? Let's start with the simplest yet most significant tip, reuse identifier. You see, the way UI table view works is that new cells are rendered right before they enter the screen as the user is scrolling. At the same time, other cells that have recently left the screen are waiting to be reused. So using these cells that were already rendered will be significantly more efficient than creating new cells from scratch. The way to do this is to provide each type of cell with the reuse identifier when it's initially created, and ask for cells with the same identifier whenever a new cell needs to be rendered. This is done using UI table views the queue reusable cell method. You provide the relevant reuse identifier string, and the method returns a cell with the same reuse identifier. If there's an already rendered cell that can be reused, this is what the method will return. If you have a custom class for this cell, you should use the register cell class for cell reuse identifier method so that the dequ dequ reusable cell method will know to fetch or create an instance of the matching class. Note that if you have multiple cell types, say a list of classes and a list of students for each class, you should make sure to use different reuse identifier for each type of cell. This will ensure that when calling the dequ reusable cell method, the return cell will have the right structure and will save you the setup time. So now that we have our new UA table view cell object or a custom subclass, we need to make sure it displays the relevant content. This is done in the table view cell for row at index pass method. Our goal is to make this method implementation as short and to the point as possible. This is not the place for complex computations, image manipulations, or any other time consuming actions. All of the heavy lifting needs to be done elsewhere and be prepared by the time this method is reached. Otherwise, you guessed it, you can forget about smooth scrolling. Needless to say that it is not the place for dealing with off-screen displays. Anything that isn't going to be presented in the cell or can be calculated elsewhere and not in the cell for row at index pass method doesn't belong here. In addition to keeping this method implementation short, quick, and to the point, you need to make sure that you're loading images from the web on a background thread. You don't want your display to lag or even worse, get stuck while you're waiting for an image to be loaded and displayed. It will be a significantly better user experience to show the cell immediately and have the content from the web join a short while after when it's ready. Make sure to also cache everything you can so that the next time the user scrolls to a row that was already displayed in the past, there will be no need to wait. The image will appear immediately since it was already loaded and cached. There are multiple open source libraries out there that can save you the effort of implementing these improvements yourself. A simple Google search can find several of them, and you can pick your personal favorite. One example is Kingfisher, a lightweight Swift library for downloading and caching images from the web. The simplest use case will, will look like this. This will allow you to load the image of your choosing, cache it, and if you'll attempt to load the same image later, it will be retrieved from cache and not reloaded from the web. Another tip that can significantly improve the scrolling experience is to make sure that the cell's background is completely opaque and, if possible, has a single consistent background color and not a gradient, for example. So unless you need the cell's background to be transparent and are willing to possibly pay for it in performance, make sure to have an opaque background color for each cell, especially if it's the same color as the view's background. I used UI table view for these tips, but they are also relevant for UI collection view. Give them a try and see for yourself how much smoother your scrolling gets. I can assure you, your users will notice and appreciate it as well. Until next time, I'm Ronnie Rosen for Word85. Thanks for watching.